Hey guys, it's Wraith. Welcome back to the train in the Charnel House trilogy. So, yeah, we have to go meet with Crazy Stalker Man in 1A and see where the fuck that's gonna go. Is there something like around here? A broken cell phone. It's oh. broken. I'll leave it where it is. Apparently she smashed it. So, let's go see our Crazy Stalker Man. Drop. Hey, Alex. Why do you have a naked statue of me? Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Her name Lydia? You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. She's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know. And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We were right there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Huh? Wait. Wait, what? No. It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm. The worm inside my head. Burrowing away inside my brain, wriggling like a grub. Rob, stop it. Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. Like creepy vampire. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, Rob. No. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. Uh -huh. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me. And I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? This is hit like new levels of weird. Sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth! The court of the charnel house king! The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity! Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Eh? Yeah. 
I'd rather not stay. Stalker's collage, huh? Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? Oh, okay, it's not naked. Just look naked from the pixelation. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! Ah, uh, uh, can I give you the hat? You want a hat? I don't think he'd appreciate it. I have. Oh, Rob. Please let me pass, please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? Well, that tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. Yeah, you do. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Is this is a light? No. Yeah, it's a light or something. Um. You need to calm down, Rob. Stop clowning around, <laughs> Alex. Well, that didn't work. Oh I, oh, I don't have my purse. We all float. Uh, do I have my mace? Oh, I can't take it out. Can I just go whack? Good idea. I have no yeah. Be. Oh. Well, that's the last time I buy cheap mace off the internet. Have a balloon. I don't want to really stab him. I don't think. Light him on fire. I don't. Think okay, time to stab you. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Yeah. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! How was that kind of struggle? He's like, I shook it out of her hand. For a cigarette right now. If I try and go for the knife, Rob will be on me in a second. Uh, cigarette? Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, light that. Light the dawn fire. Oh. Or do I have a lit. Oh, I have a lit cigarette. Okay. Light the dawn fire. Uh. Jab him with it. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Yep. Oh my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking <laughs> Kick him. Yep. Rob, that was I feel a very you. tiny kick. Do, but nobody harasses me and gets away with it. His ass. The eyes of the guy. I can't get my thing back. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was oh god. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect He's just a little me. affected by his daughter's <sighs> no, absence. 
Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. (laughs) The engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but... What the hell did Lang do? I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and... well... You'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie. I'm sorry about all this. Well, at least he's nice. He's a nice ghost. It's locked. I can't hear anything inside. So the train's kind of a fairy in its own way, but it was locking the souls that were on it in it until, I guess, the time came when Lang and her were to board it, I guess? I don't know. Huh. It's locked. They sound... Yeah. I still can't see Pyro Man. So then, like, what's the symbolism in all the bags and people ending up in bags? Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I guess they're all I'm... baggage. I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. We're in the now now. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should, I don't know, try and patch things up, if you want. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. Except this is like an echo. Ask what happened, ask where Gavin went, and ask about Rob. Let's ask about Rob. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall? Oh, no. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh, shit. Yeah. They start in a few days. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. Don't worry about it. Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. (laughs) Gotta get your timeline straight, Alex. So, in your opinion... In my opinion? She was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in... You walked in at the worst time, right? Shush, cat. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards, 
in the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, my advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. So yeah, apologies about our geriatric cat coming over and complaining to me. Like that, if you can hear that. Let's ask where Gavin went. He's gone, right? Yeah, your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay, don't make me feel worse about it. Hey, it was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door. With Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. Peace. Okay, so we gotta go talk to Carly and Sophia. Are they in the pyro room? Apparently Carly and Sophia are in here. With pyro man. Oh, it's hey, Rub. You need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. Oh, you got a, a noose around you. Nice. She's freaking out. She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. Who in the blue fuck is that? What? Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. Um... Here, you need this. She asked me to hold on to it for a while. Oh. Uh, let's Carly, talk to Carly. What the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. You promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly. Tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? I got anything silver? I got a lighter. Do I have anything Cards, in here? Money, mace, the usual. Give me the purse. I don't carry change. Fuck. Uh, lighter? Cigarettes wouldn't be silver. Party hat is that considered silver? Nah. Um. Nah. Let's try talking to people. Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? You're all I'm grubs going through it. it. Oh. Hey, can you understand me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Oh. Hey, I... Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Oh, I know it. Let's try him the lighter. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> fire, fire! Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this'll do. It's money, anyway. And here's your silver. Here, will this do? 
Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the Gavin earth? Gavin killed oh, himself? you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if. Almost as if. We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Salvation of Judas. Nope, oh, he's gone too. Oh, no, he's still... Oh, hi! Well, you're no fucking use, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you want some cigarettes to go with that? Nah. Okay. I have no desire to be a picture of a boat sailing on what appears to be an underground river. There are people under the water. I think it's meant to be the Yeah, so I was about to say. It's a river six. Creepy. A weird looking man in a weird looking hat. His eyes follow me around the room. So your boyfriend killed himself, I'm assuming. And then she killed herself. I don't know if she actually did. Alex! Hey, I missed you. I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. I collect dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's Better name? Better not be Rob. My daddy's called yep. Robert Crow. <laughs> oh, God. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... You're... Daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This, this train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then, and then I'm back on the train and we're going to see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Uh mm. -mm. That's what the man said, too, but he had a doll from Daddy to prove it. Okay, let's go back in the other room and go get Daddy's doll. Uh, this is going all kinds of weird now. Take I don't it. want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. Look how he even dyed her the doll's hair to match hers. Well, you better still be in here. Go, Lydia. Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy. You really have met him. Yeah, do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just. Hey, who's that? Don. Lydia? Lydia? Oh, now she's a bag. Let's have a look. Mm. It's, it's 
It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. Um... It's full of worms. Oh, it's full of... Okay, so do I need to get something? Actually, let me try using the party hat. Maybe I can scoop it out. I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. Don't we all? Couldn't we all, rather? Hey, Floyd. Hey. Hey, Floyd. Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. You didn't see I me the first time. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. What the hell? Oh, God, Gavin. See your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. This continues to go in a weird direction. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak. And we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulchre forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Cat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. His box Why or not? a bag. Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up were so hurtful, so... Hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. okay. What the... Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, this guy's a psycho. Oh, Alex. It like, was more so than be. I initially thought. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall. And there I was, the good neighbor, your friend. With a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove. So he could give you some time without going too far. So he could wait it out. 
make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you. I could hear you both, you know, through the walls. Hear the terrible things he did to you. How he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it. How you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, Tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Hmm. Your ex-wife put her on the train to come meet you. You abandoned her on the train. She ran away from home and got on a train. Yes. Yeah, she was coming to visit me, my dear sweet Lydia. I forgot to pick her up from the station. She wasn't on the train. You met her at the station. She wasn't on the train. She wasn't there. We searched the train frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Sent you a ransom note. They found her body the next day and they never found her. Oh, uh, they never found her. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. But I couldn't save her. But then I met you. And I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyze them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. I had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. The Not with fuck? Gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin? This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so... So fucked up. Agreed. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on in here, kids? That lying fella's trying to get some sleep. You know, screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, why? Let's see how it is. We need fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, I'll just take a sit here and if you'd be drink. So kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Um. I can't reach over the bar. Gavin. 
Can you help me? I'm just the barman, Alex. All I can do is watch and listen. Don, what should I do? Don't reckon I know, lass. Get rid of that one. I would. Is that why I got the knife back? Is to stab him with the knife this time? Lloyd. Donald. Don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. What? That's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell. No. Don't! Oh, that's Cassell. Okay. Worm man. I can't. I can't breathe again. Help. Help me. This isn't how it ends. I have an inhaler. There we go. The X. I'm sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Now where are we? This cat? There's a fog rolling in. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. God damn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. To you. Well, yeah, that's definitely set up for the next one that they said this was going to be. So... Definitely liked the third part the best of the three. It was a bit more crazy and... Uh, like a... Revelations and... Mindfuckery. Uh, Lang's was more that dark madness kind of thing. But, uh, I don't know if they actually made it then. And it looked like it was a, a, a animal or something that got thrown through because it was wiggling. Definitely not. I thought maybe it was like heart or something, but it was moving. So, uh, I did like the game. The story was definitely interesting. <laughs> it definitely took a fucked up turn there with Rob, as it went. Um, I don't know what happened to Lydia. And so hopefully the new, uh, the next game comes up relatively soon, or within the next year. Let's see if I can get through these credits. Okay. But yeah, that was the Eternal House Trilogy. Definitely had a ramp up to it. And I definitely enjoyed the ending, except from that cut there for the setup for the next part, because now I'm like, oh, what the hell happened? But anywho, 
thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been, again, the Charnel House Trilogy. Hit like if you like the video. Hit sub if you want to get notified for any of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.